As a theorist, I was supposed to have stopped working when I was 35, but here I am at twice that age, and actually the last 10 years have been perhaps the most productive of my entire career, and I hope they'll continue for a little while yet. I can't remember a time when I wasn't thinking about problems. In 2000, I discovered that uh, it was possible to give specifications for a lens which was not limited by the wavelength. That was a shaft of light, actually, and it, it temporarily blinded me because I didn't believe the result, and I had to stare at it for a very long time um, because I knew that if I published it, uh, many of my colleagues would have thought I'd have gone crazy. These new materials which we've invented are called metamaterials, and it turns out that in optics there are many things you might want to do which you can't do because when, when you want to do something you've got to make it out of a material and if that material with the properties you need is not available you can't do it. And metamaterials extend the properties to which you have access in a very dramatic way. Disorder materials can be transparent provided you look at them in the right direction. That's an amazing result and I, I still shock and awe. I like hard challenges. I would like to solve a really, really difficult problem. Now I feel that frees me up to say, well, okay, I, I can do something which might fail very badly now. And, and so my, I might turn back to the parts of that disordered problem that I failed to solve all those years ago and try again.